Hello, Form B. This is an example of what your screencast should be for your science fair project. Make sure that you have your science fair Google slideshow up and ready to go. And then once you are ready, go up to Screencastify, hit record and begin. It is best to hit present so that your science fair project comes up like this. You will notice that your video of you talking no longer shows up when you make it a presentation. That is okay. This is how you should do your science fair project presentation. Please do not read all of the slides to it. Act as if you are talking to the class about your science fair project. My science fair project today is hot rods, which metals heat the fastest. I came up with this idea when I noticed that the pots that we had bought had some copper bottoms, and I thought, does the copper affect the cooking of it? So I think that my copper is going to heat the fastest because it is on the bottom of some of my cooking pots at home. The materials I used for my experiment uh, was that I had three different types of screws. I had a copper screw, a stainless screw, and an iron screw, and then we heated those up using a candle. We had matches to light the fire. We had a thermometer, as well as a stopwatch. Procedure. This is how we went about doing the experiment. First, we had to light the candle. Then we took one of the screws um, and held it over the flame for 15 seconds. We measured the temperature of the screw with the thermometer. Then we ended up letting the screw cool down to a, its original temperature. And we repeated that um, for 15 second intervals all the way up to five minutes. We had to do this five different times for each screw. Then we repeated this for the stainless steel screw and the iron screw. Results. These are the results of my experiment. As you can see, the temperature went up in each of the cases, okay? and that I ended up doing the average of my three temperatures um, instead of showing the individual trials, uh, just so that it, we weren't inundated with so much data. But you can see in each of them, they went up, and I've got my time measured in seconds. Here is the graph of uh, my results where I have time on the horizontal axis, I have temperature in Fahrenheit on the vertical axis, um, I've properly titled my graph, and here I can, you can see that the iron continued to go up in a straight line, whereas copper went up and then plateaued, and then stainless steel went up and then it plateaued as well. Something that I noticed very interestingly was that two of the screws, both the copper and the stainless steel, had the similar shaped graph where they both plateaued, just one went up fastest, the copper versus stainless steel, and that the iron never plateaued. It just continued to increase in temperature um, throughout the experiment. Based on my experiment, my hypothesis was correct. Copper ended up heating up the fastest. Something that I thought was interesting was that both copper and stainless steel didn't go higher than a certain temperature, but they hit a threshold, whereas the iron continued to go on. If I were to maybe do this experiment again or a continuation, I would have done the iron trials for longer to see if it also plateaued similar to the stainless steel and the copper. That is the end of my presentation, the end of my screencast. Thank you for listening to my science fair project. Gentlemen, that is how you do a screencast. Please do not read your slides to us. Act as if you are discussing your experiment with us and using the slides as a way of uh, giving us focus, but don't read them to us. I look forward to seeing your results.